Solutions, Crafting on a Budget. Today's video is another video request. And I gotta tell you, this is a project that is long overdue. This project was one of the projects that was lost when the corruption of my computer happened. And I just hadn't had the time to redo it. I am redoing it now, so Denise, Thank you so much for your patience, and I am sorry it took so long to get to you, but I promise you, I did not forget about you. So Denise's request reads that she likes my farmhouse decor and would like me to make a rustic table centerpiece using Dollar Tree items. Well, Denise, I think I've come up with something that I think you'll like. So let's get to it and let me show you what I have in store for this farmhouse rustic table centerpiece you requested. I picked up three of these milk jugs from the Dollar Tree. I also picked up one of these drawer organizers, three bunches of flowers. I'll also be using Rust-Oleum's primer. This bonds to plastic and it's two times the ultra cover. So this is a great primer to use if you're gonna be spray painting plastic. I'll also be using one of my favorite finds, the Waverly Chalk Paint, the matte finish, and the color is Hazelnut. Waverly's Black Chalk Paint, and some of Walmart's white matted spray paint that you can pick up for 97 cents. Starting this project off, I'm gonna take my gray Rust-Oleum primer, and I am going to spray paint this drawer organizer inside and out. Next, I'm gonna take the milk jugs, I'm gonna take my Waverly chalk paint, the hazelnut color, and I'm gonna put a couple nice coats on each of these bottles until I'm satisfied with the coverage. I've painted my jars with the hazelnut. Now I'm gonna take my white matted spray paint and I am going to spray paint over the hazelnut brown. If you have white chalk paint or acrylic paint, you can use that too. I have the white spray paint on hand, so I'm just gonna use that because it's a bit faster. My bin is dry. Now taking the black Waverly chalk paint and a bit of water, I'm gonna give this bin a galvanized look. I'm also gonna add a bit of the Waverly ivory chalk paint. Now I'm gonna let this dry. If you guys haven't seen this video, I'll leave the link in the description box below on how I made my handy dandy glue gun holder. I love it and it makes life so much easier for all of us crafters. So now I'm gonna take my Dollar Tree twine. My jars are painted. Now I'm gonna take a real fine sandpaper. The Dollar Tree milk jugs are amazing. They have lots of lifted glass, so when you sand it, it will distress beautifully, and that's what I'm gonna do. And I just wanna sand enough to get through the white down to the brown. My jars are distressed and boy oh boy am I loving this hazelnut brown under the white. So rustic. Now I'm gonna take my twine and look at how stinking cute that is. Loving it. Now we're gonna take our flowers This is stinking adorable. I love it and I think I'm gonna have to keep this one for myself. And there you have it, our rustic farmhouse table centerpiece using Dollar Tree items. So my thoughts behind this project were to do these milk jugs and I did change the color from the color that I normally do. I wanted the white milk jugs with the brown accent coming through the white 
And I also incorporated this drawer organizer to resemble a galvanized tin feeder. And Denise, I hope you liked this video and this project. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for this video for today. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're new to my channel, click that red button and stick around a while for more crafting on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Google+. Those links are in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my P.O. box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day, happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now.